Here we go with Michael Jordan on the current day Bulls in the LeBron era. Or I guess more modern day instead of current day Bulls. So he's going to be forming a duo with Derrick Rose. And he also got Carlos Boozer and Joakim Noah, Luol Deng, the rest of the team as well. But I will be actually downgrading Derrick Rose as we go on to make it realistic. Because I don't want Derrick Rose to be a 99 overall and MJ to be a 99 overall as well. And here is our lineup for season number one. Hopefully Michael Jordan can go crazy. In the first season, Derrick Rose wins the MVP averaging 30, 31, 5, and 11. Oh my god, I couldn't speak there. Rookie of the year is Blake Griffin still. So Michael Jordan couldn't steal it unless it's glitched out. I'm not too sure. Actually, let me see. Michael Jordan ended up finishing second. What did he average this season? He's already up to an 87 overall. He averaged 22, 4, and 7 with two steals per game. So that's interesting. I guess, you know, I guess you get the Blake Griffin there. Sixth man of the year is Manu. I miss when Manu was in the league. Dwight Howard, defensive player of the year in his prime. And most improved players, Marcelin Gortat. Or Marcelin Gortat. There we go. I don't know why I can't speak today. And coach of the year is George Carl. So it looks like we would really go that crazy. Uh, Derek Rose, Chicago Bulls, the first team All-NBA, obviously. He's the MVP. Did Michael Jordan make it? No, he did not. Not. Where's Michael Jordan? He is on the all defense the first team though, so he is defending people. And we didn't finish in the first seed because the Miami Heat did. We finished in the second seed. Let me go check out the standings here. So the standings, they finished the same record as us, but I guess we lost the tiebreaker to them. And the best team in the league, what was it? It was the Denver Nuggets by one game. Which wait a minute, is the who has who's on the Nuggets, bro? Is it, is it still Melo? Yeah, Melo's still on the Nuggets. And what is this team? Why is this team this high rated? Oh my god. So in the first round, it's going against the Hawks right here. They got Joe Johnson, Josh Smith, Al Horford. The team looks great. They didn't really do anything in real life with this team game one we end up winning game two we end up winning game three we end up okay we want to sweep them immediately like that oh no we didn't sweep them and we won in five so now we gotta go against the boston celtics who still have the big three team here they got rondo ray allen paul pierce kevin garnett this is like right after they stopped competing when they had Shaq and everything or right whenever they start but they have both o'neills right before they ended up just like falling off a cliff basically they got the super team so in 2k is probably gonna be highly rated let's see what happens here simply through game number one we end up winning game two is a tight series we're down two to one and it's two to two let's go to simcast and it's looking like a close game with 30 seconds left i jumped in super late i'm not gonna lie let's go ahead and look at it so it is in chicago it looks like paul pierce is gonna be on the inbound here with the celtics having the ball they're up by four points right now with 28 seconds left i mean they have an opportunity to play defense here but i have a feeling they're gonna foul yep they're gonna foul rondo is rondo gonna hit these free throws the first one goes up and it is a brick i guess this is a good person to foul honestly i would have just played defense if that if i was them but hey, it is what it is second one misses as well so it's, oh they couldn't even get the rebound though kevin garnett stole the rebound that's game they just sold they got joe keem noah in the game did not grab a rebound kevin garnett just sealed the game right there it has to be right he does miss the second free throw but i feel like it was on purpose because now they gotta run all the way up the court right here and i might even have the wrong sliders on because they're going to the paint derrick rose with the layup i'm gonna have to change my sliders i think i have different sliders on but it doesn't matter because they are down by three points and they're fouling rondo again so rondo might end up missing first free throw goes up from rondo and he hits this one with a 52 percent chance i guess half the time it goes in now a second free throw it does miss again and they have to go all the way to court and kevin garnett almost stole the rebound passing it up to derrick rose i don't know why their passes look like this derrick rose getting clamped up he passes over to michael jordan from three he's standing there derrick rose at limitless range pass it. these passes bro oh my god what is going on? Ronnie Brewer? No, no one's shooting the ball. What's going on? Is that even Ronnie? I don't even know which Brewer that is, but I don't know what just happened. They just sold. And now they're down three to two, just like that. Like, what happened, bro? What was going on? Why couldn't they do anything? This is a must win game for the Bulls if they want to go to the conference finals. They could get eliminated right here. And I think it's in Boston this time around too. So that's going to be tough. It is in Boston. This time around, it looks like the Bulls just won by 12 points. Is going to a game seven. The first game seven of the series. Let's go. What's going to happen here? It's in Chicago. So come on, they got the advantage. It's looking like another close game with a minute 20 left. Let's jump in. The Bulls got the ball on the Bulls home court as well. They are up by five. So it's the other way around this time. Literally the other way around. Michael Jordan gets the ball off the inbound he is absolutely exhausted he dribbles in the ray allen ray allen with the steal never known for his defense but he got the steal he could have shot that three right there kevin garnett was wide open didn't pass it but he eventually gets the ball and he hits it they're only down by three points now what's gonna happen who knows because michael jordan got the ball he's known as one of the most clutch players ever but this is his rookie season in the nba so who knows what he's gonna do he's not him he's sizing up ray allen right now he gets stopped he drives right past ray allen for an open layup though now they're up by five points once again here's rondo running up the court trying to facilitate the offense they got the whole squad in right now kevin garnett posting up luol dang goes to the basket throws up a floater and misses it carlos boozer gets the rebound pass over to mj mj is going to shoot the free throws i don't know what his free throw rating is in two 
2K, so this is going to be tough. The first free throw does go in. Is the second one going in? If it goes in, it pretty much seals the game. And it does. It goes in. The Celtics have timeouts. I don't know. I, they look like they're not going to have any timeouts. Paul Pierce with the ball. Running up the court right here. And it's looking like he's getting guarded by Luol Deng. Luol Deng is a great defender. I don't know about in this 2K, but he's a great defender. Paul Pierce trying to size him up. Loses the ball. Luol Deng wide open for the fast break. And that's looking like it's game right there. They're going to the conference finals. Yeah, just like that. They won by nine points and they're going to the conference final. Derrick Rose dropped 34 points that game. Michael Jordan only had 24. Luol Deng 24. Carlos Boozer 24. Everyone's dropping 24. Shout out to Kobe. But Paul Pierce decided to drop 25 because he's the rival of Kobe, obviously. This is only the first season. It's already getting crazy. And we're going against the Magic. The Heat sold. They couldn't even make the conference finals. The big three Heat didn't make the conference final. That's crazy. Well, we gotta go against Vince Carter. We're shot. This this team is literally just carried by Dwayne Howard. I just, you know what? We're gonna disrespect them. Just simulate the round. Oh my God! We went to Game Seven. We almost lost right there. That, I, I had my heart just stopped for a second. Now we're going against the Denver Nuggets, which they weren't ever this good in real life. But they got Chauncey Billups, J.R. Smith, Carmelo Anthony, Nene, or Nene. I don't know what I call him Nene. Chris Anderson, Ty Lawson. And you got the rest of the bench actually looking pretty good. Game number one gets simulated. We win game number one. Game number two, it ties up the series. It's two to one now. It's two to two. Time to go to Simcast. This is in Denver as well. And it's a close game with 90 seconds left. Let's jump in. We're up by four points. Looks like we have the ball right here. Luol Dang on the inbound. Probably going to pass it over to MJ because MJ is the ultimate clutch player in the league. Doesn't pass it to MJ. Pass it down to the paint to Ronnie or Corey Brewer. I don't know which Brewer it is. It's one of the Brewers. Carlos Boozer gets the ball. Michael Jordan is absolutely exhausted once again. But he got Ty Lawson on him, bro. Come on, MJ. You got this. Ty Lawson's on you. He does a spin. Drives right by Ty Lawson. He could have shot that and made it, but instead it's a jump ball against Ty Lawson. The Nuggets are hustling out here, but there's no way he loses his jump ball. Dude got like 99 vertical. That's an easy jump ball from MJ. Gets the ball. Joe Kim Noah passes down that MJ in the post on Ty Lawson. I don't know what this matchup is. Michael Jordan runs back to the three-point line. He's going to have to check up a limitless three. He shoots it right over Ty Lawson and obviously misses it because he's not a three-point shooter. They get the rebound and Carmelo Anthony, number 15, classic on the Nuggets, passes over to Ty Lawson. Ty Lawson, they have the score right here. Carlos Boozer is a mismatch. Melo's sitting down in the post on Luol Deng. Melo's going to do a post fade or something. No, he post spins off of him. Passes to Nene. And Ty Lawson just sells the whole possession. I don't know what happened there, but Ty Lawson gets a wide open pick and roll. He goes to the paint, gets wide open. How is that wide open? They're only down by two points now. Are the Bulls going to choke this lead? We're on the other side of the court right now. Michael Jordan is isoing Ty Lawson. Ty Lawson's ultimate miss, and he walks right into him. Why do people keep doing that? Ty Lawson is fast. He's going to run right. Oh, Michael Jordan is clamping him. He's great at defense. And Melo was wide open, didn't pass to him. They got no vision on this. Nene with the ball. What is going to happen? I don't know why he's isolating Carlos Boozer. They're going for like a game winner or something. There's only seven seconds left. There's a one second deferential of the shot clock. Ty Lawson had an open three, but he takes it to the paint and he hits it. He ties it up with two seconds left, but the Bulls have a timeout. I just want to remind you guys that this is literally the first season and we're, we're having so much content this season. This is enough content almost just for a one season video at this point, but Joe Keep Noah on the inbound. Who's going to take the shot? Derrick Rose is open. Pass to Derrick Rose. What are you doing? He has no vision. Now Derrick Rose has to shoot a half court three and he almost hit that actually and now it's going to overtime but what is going on there pretty much jr smith was on the bulls at that point dude just missed him wide open yeah we're not gonna watch this bro we're gonna go to simcast it's still a close game and i just simulated it by accident the bulls won by three what happened this game jr smith dropped 29 derrick rose dropped 49 and 12 he was forced to take up some crazy shots there but looks like the team ended up getting the victory right there we're up three to two all right are they gonna win this game right here and no it's going to game seven we're headed right back to simcast and they're down by five points there's no way they win this right yeah yeah, they lost by seven. We could win a championship in his rookie season. Melo ends up getting the ring in this and Derrick Rose ends up winning finals MVP either way, which is crazy that he added this this year. But man, that's depressing. The Nuggets ended up winning over the Bulls. The Bulls couldn't get a championship in season number one with MJ, which I'm, I'm acting like it's a disappointment, but MJ, I don't even think he made the playoffs in his rookie season. So I don't even know what I'm talking about. Once again, Derrick Rose wins at MVP averaging 32, six and 12 with two steals and a block. That's kind of crazy. Rookie of the year is Kawhi Leonard on the Sacramento Kings. His career might not be that great. And then we go over to Defensive Player of the Year, Joe Kim Noah this time around. And we ended up going 68 and 14, which is actually a W record. We did pretty good this season right around. Uh, Derrick Rose is the first team All-NBA, obviously. Michael Jordan, did he make a team? No, he did not make a team at all. That's crazy. Michael Jordan's getting slept on right now. What did Michael Jordan average this time around? Because I feel like he's getting slept on. I feel like he's getting held back by this team. Because look how great this team is, first of all. This team is absolutely cracked out. Like, this is insane. But we go to Michael Jordan. What did he average? He averaged 22, 4, and 7. 
seven. He's averaging more assists per game this time around just for the fact that he has to pass. In the first round, they're going against the Indiana Pacers with Paul George, Darren Collison, Roy Hibbert, and Danny Granger coming off the bench. And now we got Nene. Okay, so he went over there now, apparently. Let's go ahead and simulate the round. I feel like we're going to win this in four. Yes, we do. And it's a rematch versus the Boston Celtics. The big three Boston Celtics. Ray Allen is getting old. Everyone else kind of just stayed the same, to be honest. I think Shaq retired. Game number one, we win. Game number two, we win. Game number three. Okay, we're just going to sweep them. Really? Is that what's going to happen? Yes, it does. And now it is the Bulls versus Magic. Once again, another rematch, but they don't really have anybody else, bro. I mean, look, they just have Dwayne Howard and kind of Jameer Nelson. That's about it. I feel like we're going to sweep them. We've won in five. And now it is the Thunder. We literally lost one game to get to the finals. The Thunder also only lost one game to get to the finals. That's kind of crazy. They got Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Kevin Durant, whoever this Peeler guy is, Sergi Baca. This is going to be the ultimate test right here. We got crazy matchups in this video. You only see this on the Mystery Channel. Game number one. Game number two, we both win. Game number three is the Thunder. And the Thunder tied up 2-2. Two two. Let's go head back into SimCast. And it's not a close game at all. The Thunder end up winning, and now we're down 3-2. to two. Are we going to lose another championship opportunity in season number two? And it's going to be to another team that didn't win a championship in real life but looks like it's a close game we came back last second what's going on we're jumping in with a minute and 11 seconds left down by two this is in oklahoma city so if we win this game we're going to game seven in chicago which will have all the momentum then michael jordan with the ball passes over to i don't even know who this is aj griffin or something he got the ball some random ai generated player He's just holding the ball. He's ball hogging. Passes over to Carlos Boozer. Derrick Rose is not in the game currently. Is he fouled out? Is he? I was about to say is he injured, but he couldn't get injured. Is he fouled out? Because Carlos Boozer is basically the point guard right now. I don't know what's going on. Carlos Boozer got KD on him. Is he going to post him up? Yes, he is. He goes up for the layup, and he hits it on two players. We got to check out what's going on with Derrick Rose. Is he fouled out? Yes or no? No. Did Derrick Rose foul out? Yes, he did. Oh, no. Oh, no. James Harden's about to foul out, too. And Serge Ibaka has 20 rebounds. What is the sim? What's going on? Russell Westbrook has 22 points. Derrick Rose had 21. It's a battle of the athletic point guards. Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant are all in the game. James Harden, everybody. They got their whole starting five in the game. They're just fine. There's no sorters here. Russell Westbrook passes to Serge Ibaka. And Joakim Noah. What kind of defense was that? They're down by two still. Come on, you can't choke back-to-back -back seasons. There's no way. You have to win this game. You have to go to game seven to win this championship. Come on. Derrick Rose is out of the game. This is Michael Jordan's time to shine. And here it is. Guess who got the ball? Michael Jordan has James Harden on him. He better ISO him. He goes to the paint past James Harden. And he hits it. A tight game with 28 seconds left in the game. And he hit him with his own celebration. I don't know if anybody peeped that. Russell Westbrook is ISOing right now on our point guard. I don't no idea who this is in the game right now. Passes over to James Harden. Michael Jordan's clamping him up. Passes back to the point guard. Russell Westbrook. What is he going to do? He's sizing him up. Oh, and he gets a... Oh, no. Not a steal. And Russell Westbrook scores off of that. That's crazy. And nine seconds left. Down by two points. What is Chicago going to do? It's got to be the most action-packed video I've ever dropped because we're only two seasons in and all this is going on. Joe Kino in the bound. Passes it over to Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, you don't have to take a three. You can do anything you want here. But it looks like he's going to force the three. He passes over to Carlos Boozer from three. What? What is going on? Why are you selling? They just sold back-to-back -back NBA Finals from some stupid mistakes. You don't even deserve this, man. No. Oh, my God. Kevin Durant Finals. Of oh, my God. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to go cry, man. That's what I'm going to go do. Like, this is crazy. How, why is Michael Jordan and the Bulls, like, such choke artists? And this man, Kevin Durant, averaged 43 points in NBA Finals. I guess he deserved it at that point. And as promised, I downgraded Derrick Rose down to a 94. I know he was lower than this at the time, but at the same time, we're already struggling in the first place, so why do I make it harder, man? I feel like what this team has is, like, a huge issue of shooting, because when you think about it, our power forward can't shoot, our center can't shoot, our shooting guard can't really shoot, and Michael Jordan, and then our point guard can't even really shoot that well either. And you got Lou Waldang, which, uh, he's, he's an alright shooter, but, like, we have, like, no three-point shooting, and and this is in the three-point era going into where Stephen Curry is really going to break out. All these players about to break out. Damian Lillard is about to join the league. I think that's the issue we're having, honestly. Once again, Derrick Rose is the MVP of the league with Anthony Davis on the Cavs when he rookie of the year. And we go ahead and scroll over to the player of the year, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan did his thing this season, averaging 30 points per game. Most improved player as well. So it looks like MJ is getting in his bag. 68-14 and 14 record for the entire team. And he joined the first NBA team with Derrick Rose as well. And it looks like the Boston Celtics are falling off. They're the eighth seed right here. They 
got Rondo, they got Ray Allen, Paul Pierre, what happened? How did they fall? No, they did not fall off. What are you talking about? What's 2K two, what's two on right now? Let's go ahead and just simulate that. But we did sweep them. Brooklyn Nets in the second round. Who do they have? They got J.R. Smith that they signed, Derek Favors they signed, and they got Brooke Lopez. They actually got like a decent team. I just don't feel like they have a real superstar. Once again, we sweep them. Now it's the Magic versus Bulls rematch for the third time in a row. They signed a little bit of like firepower. Not really though. They kind of lost more players than they signed realistically. And Dwight Howard's still doing his thing. I say once again, simulate the round and they got two games this season on us. And it's the Sacramento Kings versus Chicago Bulls. We fought a different person in the finals every single season. Yeah, we can't get a championship. Sean Livingston's on this team. Tyreek Evans, Kawhi Leonard. That's funny because I made a joke about him not going to be having a good career. And here he is. Omri Caspi, DeMarcus Cousins, Shannon Brown, Robin Lopez. Like, this team is stacked. Okay. They got Damian Lillard? What? Damian Lillard is sitting here on the bench just vibing, bro. What's going on? Let's go ahead and simulate game number one. We win. Game number two, we win. Game number, okay, so this is the team that we needed to see just so we can win a championship. Are you serious? It's a close game with a minute left. Let's jump in. It's in Sacramento right here for game four. We're up by, or down by one point actually. And we've got the inbound Joe King Noah passing over to, uh, never mind, not passing over Derrick Rose. Kyle Corver in the post. What's going on? Derrick Rose with the ball. Going around the screen. He's absolutely exhausted. Derrick Rose playing a pick and roll. Joe King Noah. Joe King Noah goes for a layup and he hits it over to Marcus Cousins. They're up by one point now. Karan Butler going around the screen. He had enough space to shoot it, but he just didn't even think about shooting it. The Marcus Cousins trying to face up against. Oh my God. He just went crazy on Joakim Noah. Now they're down by one point. They inbounded to Derrick Rose. They got Kyle Korver coming out of screens, but they don't hit Kyle Korver. It's they're running out the clock for some reason. Derrick Rose around the screen. Joakim Noah going in the pick and roll wide open. No one even close. He hits the pick and roll layup. Another timeout by Sacramento and they're up by one now. Sean Livingston dots Kawhi Leonard on a cut wearing number 42. Such a random number for him to wear, but he dotted him on that cut. That was the quickest play I've ever seen. And it's another timeout. We're just playing a timeout game. What I want to know is where is Michael Jordan? Did Michael Jordan foul out or something? He had to. He only had 25 minutes played and yeah, he fouled out way long ago. I feel like they would have been winning this game very easily if Michael Jordan didn't foul out. Derrick Rose with the ball right here. They're running out the shot clock. A three second differential of the shot clock versus play clock. Derrick Rose wide open for a layup. I don't know why he didn't dunk it. He's able to dunk, but whatever. It is now a one point game once again. No timeouts left for either team. Kawhi Leonard going up the court. Is he going to hit a dagger? Game winner right here, which it doesn't matter. It would only be a 3 1 deficit. But here we go. Three. Two. He's going to have to pull a three. He's pulling a deep three right over him. And he almost hits it, but he misses it. And that is the first ring for Michael Jordan, Derrick Rose, and the Chicago Bulls. It only took three seasons, three trips to the NBA Finals, but they finally got their first championship. And here they are, a whole another championship. You, get, you see the whole team right here. Tom Thibodeau as well gets his ring. Finally, who's going to be the Finals MVP? Did I just skip it? No, I did not. It is Derrick Rose, Finals MVP. Michael Jordan got carried to a championship. <laughs> but Michael Jordan, it says, one Finals MVP right here. So I don't know, man. I think this game is just broken. And it looks like it's officially Michael Jordan's team, as Michael Jordan is now a 96 overall while Derrick Rose is only a 90. Basically what we have in a simulation is Derrick Rose and Michael Jordan instead of Michael Jordan and Scotty. Michael Jordan gets his first MVP averaging 31, 8, and 10. He's probably going to win defensive player of the year and Giannis is on the Pelicans. He gets drafted to the Pelicans. Wins rookie of the year. Sixth man of the year is Bradley Beal on the Thunder. Michael Jordan, like I said, defensive player of the year. And we got Deion Sanders. Oh my God, he's here. Oh my God, we got prime time. And then Scott Brooks, 65, 17 on the Thunder. I think we might have finished a little bit worse than that, to be honest. I think we had like six something wins and we did finish as the first seed in the east so i guess the thunder and the bulls are the best teams in the league and he are the eighth seed they still got dwayne wade lebron and chris bosh so I, I don't know what's going on in the simulation we could lose to the first seed i'm gonna be honest and right here it looks like we only lost one game i, I don't know wh why the heater is so bad in this sim but i guess i'll take it the pacers in the second round uh who do they have on their team they got jj reddick now they got paul george hitting his prime they got roy hibbert danny green i mean their team is pretty much the same, but I doubt they're going to beat us. That's another sweep right there. The Wizards in conference finals with John Wall hitting his prime. They ended up signing Iggy Dalla. Nick Young apparently is just way better in the game than real life. And they don't really have anybody else. They kind of have just like an all-around team. We have Chris Middleton right here. I feel like this one. Oh my God. They came back from a 3-1 deficit and almost beat us. That's the Bulls versus Thunder rematch from like two seasons ago. Russell Westbrook, James Harden, and Kevin Durant all in their prime. Same as Serge Ibaka. And they got Bradley Beal, which is like the most cracked out thing I've ever seen in my life. So we're going to see game one, the Thunder end up winning. Game two, the Thunder end up winning. Game three, the Thunder. Okay, 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 okay. Wait a minute. Wait a, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, th I thought that should happen. The Thunder is broken until someone leaves. Which hopefully this season, like, James Harden leaves. Like, please, 2K, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant. One of these people leave, bro. We're going into 2015. Looks like Lou Wall, dang, ended up leaving the Bulls. And Derrick Rose is still downgrading down to an 88 overall. I really don't have any faith for this team at all, man. I'm getting kind of sad. Michael Jordan with back-to-back -back MVPs averaging 31 or 33, 8, and 10. Okay, faster out here. Nikola Jokic on the Utah Jazz wins Rookie of the Year. Basically, almost averaging triple-double already. Six men of the year is Bradley Beal back to back seasons and uh yeah there's gonna be interesting scott brooks 67 and 15 that's gonna be the best team in the league once again and we finished as the fourth seed man we're seeing a downfall of them what's their girls average man 29 and 11 so what's everybody else doing then everyone else just doesn't seem to be doing anything the pistons in the round one they got the martyr rosen and uh they got an all-around team i feel like they kind of got like a pistons type of team that's just like typical for the pistons and round number one we win so we're gonna get the first seed washington wizards john wall chris middleton kobe bryant kobe bryant kobe bryant kobe bryant they signed kobe bryant they signed kobe bryant why who signs Kobe Bryant? That's illegal. That should be like the biggest ban ever. You should never be able to sign Kobe Bryant from the Lakers. Well, I'm just going to sim this and say that we lost. And no, we, we beat them in six games, I guess. I don't know. Well, the Heat finally made it to the conference finals with Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Chris Bosh. And yeah, I mean, I don't know what the difference is. They're pretty much the same team they've always been, maybe even worse. And let's go see. Simulate game one. We win. Game two is a tied series. Game three, they win. Game, okay, we're gonna go to SimCast. It's tied two to two. And the Heat just uh, blew us out right there. I, that's, not, that's not even close. That's kind of embarrassing to be honest. And the, the Heat are blowing us out even worse this game. The Bulls could make the finals. Are the Heat finally going to championship? No, the Timberwolves of all teams get a championship. What? Kevin Love finals MVP. This simulate is going crazy. This simulation is just gone, thrown out the window. I don't know what's going on no more. So the Bulls ended up signing Andre Iguodala right here. So they got Michael Jordan, Iguodala. Derrick Rose still downgrading, but we still got a decent team. Hopefully we can make a playoff run this season. Michael Jordan averaged 37, almost a 37 point triple double. D'Lo's on the Grizzlies wing rookie of the year. I guess he's the new John Morant. Bradley Beal, three straight six men of the year. Michael Jordan back at it again. Steve McCullough most improved on the Celtics. And the Timberwolves are doing their thing. Six 61 and 21 they're trying to go back to back but the bulls are back they're the number one seed going against the boston celtics looks like the iggy sign up uh, pickup was great the wall dang went to the celtics bro come on why you gotta be like that but i mean they don't got the big three anymore so they just got like a duo that's about it maxi Kleber's on the team that's crazy simulate the round and we're gonna beat them yeah get out of here that's what we deserve the wall dang the pistons in round two we got mcw demoto rosen uh this team we should be able to beat them in at least five at, at most yeah five then the Pacers in round three in the conference finals. Paul George still kicking about. Rowan Dragic. I mean, none of these teams, like, they have one superstar at most. That's about it, really. I mean, that's another five-game series right there. And now it's the Kings versus Bulls. What's up with these random teams? I mean, Kawhi Leonard, if he's still there? Yes, he is. He's in his prime. They got Sean Levinson, Kyrie, Kyrie Evans. I almost called him Kyrie Evans. DeMarcus Cousin. I mean, this team is actually kind of scary, especially with Damian Lillard chilling off the bench there. They got Kwame Brown. There's no way he's still in the league. Danny Green. Okay, let's go ahead and sim game by game here. The Bulls game one. Bulls game two. Okay, game three. And they tie it up. Let's go to SimCast again. You guys know the drill. It's sort of a close game, but we ain't jumping in that. Oh, we only lost by two points. Well, we're down 3-2. Can we get a championship? We only won, what, one championship so far? And yeah, it's looking like we're not going to win a championship this season. So once again, got to the NBA Finals and lost apparently in Finals MVP as Michael Jordan, though. So what? We made the final of what? Every season but one, I think it was so far. And we've lost every single time except for one, I think, as well. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. Like, we can't get a championships here. It's almost like the Bulls are just destined not to win a championship if it isn't 1990s i had to check we only won one championship so far and we've had so many opportunities to do so like literally if we go to the past champions look at this ever since we started this sim bulls 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 no bulls bulls five nba finals we've been to we won one we're really looking like jerry west in the lakers right now man and yeah man this team is looking pretty good still we have a chance for a championship and wait a minute do we got jimmy butler in the team i don't know when that happened but i guess hey we got jimmy butler back on the bowl so jimmy butler's playing with his dad i guess okay that's pretty cool michael jordan wins another mvp averaging 37 11 and 9 okay he's still doing his thing ben simmons is already on the nets in this sim and he won rookie of the year D'Lo won six man of the year i don't know who he's coming up behind maybe mike conley's still on the grizzlies and then most improved player is just random guy right here coach of the year tom thibodeau we went 64 and 18 looks like we're back with jimmy butler here that's crazy man so we're going against the sixers in round one who do the sixers have they have drew holiday monte ellis Melo. okay that's a crazy trio right there i wouldn't mind drew holiday on the bulls i feel like that would be a great pickup like imagine drew holiday on this team i mean that would be a good replacement for derrick rose because you can see derrick rose's overall it's really starting to go down
down. But I think we beat them in this series. There's no way they get more than one win. They don't get any wins. And the Pistons are back at it again with the Marta Rosen just carrying this team over and over again through the playoffs. But it's just like real life. And oh, my God, I thought we were about to lose. Just like real life with LeBronto, man. He just runs to the same team over and over again. And now it's the Pacers with Paul George. Same thing's happening with him, really. The Marta Rosen and Paul George got this team up at that point. I think they're both from LA. Oh my God. We, oh, we're about to lose this series. We're down 3 2 Simcast time. And it's a close game with a little bit over a minute left. Let's go ahead and jump in. So it looks like we got the ball right here. We're up by three points. Michael Jordan on the inbound. Pass it over to Derek. Rose. It's past Derrick Rose's prime. MJ should be the man to hold the ball right now. Who's all on the court? I see Iggy over there. I see Jimmy Butler. And at center is Joakim Noah. So we're running a small ball lineup right now. Michael Jordan dominates Roy Hibbert or whoever that is. That's Thaddeus Young or something. He went crazy right there. I, that might, I, I, was that Jimmy Butler? No, that's not Jimmy Butler. Why are they showing Jimmy Butler's stats? That's just random. He only has seven points. That's crazy. But Goran Dragic trying to do his thing. Pass down to Jonas Valanciunas. Joakim Noah plays great defense, but it's still wide open. The paint defense in this game is like super broken. So like, I, I guess that's just how it is. Michael Jordan wide open for three. Doesn't shoot it though. He runs right to the paint. Barrels into the paint. Pump fakes. Pass out to Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose gets a terrible catch. And now the clock is counting down. They have to hit a shot right here if they want to try to have a better chance to win this game. And he's dribbling around in the pick and roll. Pulls up for a mid range. And he just misses it. And now they're down by three still. And there's only a shot clock left in the entire game basically. And he got Clint Capella. I didn't even realize he was on the team. And game seven will be played in Chicago if Chicago can pull this victory out. So they have all the momentum. Michael Jordan. Gordon's going guard and Jonas Valanciunas for some reason he doesn't do anything. Pass to Gordon Dragic. He's trying to hit the three to tie the game and he misses it but Jonas Valanciunas with the rebound and they're going for the three and they can't get back on the three-point line. They just sold. Jonas Valanciunas could have just passed the ball. Michael Jordan with a 31-point triple-double and Derrick Rose has definitely fallen off. This man only had 18 and 9, shooting 9 for 24. And Iggy's getting pretty old too so I don't know what's going to happen but let's go ahead and simcast once again. It's kind of a close game but I simulated too much and it looks like the Bulls won by four points going to the NBA Finals against the Minnesota Timberwolves and who is on this team. We got Harrison. What, it's basically just DeAndre Jordan, Kevin, uh, Deont Dante Green. Who's Dante Green? Wait a minute. Okay, they just got like big men. That's all they have. For, big men for days. And we have a small ball lineup. So this could be difficult. And we're down 3 2 again, man. Let's go back to Simcast. Sim situation. If we go to game seven, it's in Chicago. And oh, it's a close game. Oh, we got to dissimulate it. We got to simulate. <gasps> they hit a game winner. I should have jumped in. They hit a game winner. Oh my God. We're going to game seven. Who hit that game winner? Is there like a play by play that I can look? I don't think so. But who hit that game winner? That's crazy. Going to Game 7 Simcast. That's my fault for simming too far. And the Bulls, they are dominating Game 7. Like I said, all that momentum went back and they finally get the second championship. Michael Jordan with the finals MVP. That's two championships for MJ in the sim. He had six in real life, but we got about, what, four or five seasons left of the sim? So he could win some more championships. Let's see how this goes. Dang, man. This roster is really looking bad. Derrick Rose is getting old to an 82 overall. Joe Noah is getting old. Iggy's getting old. But the good thing about it is MJ's on the come up. Jimmy Butler's on the come up. Jermichael Green's on the come up, which is really random to say. But we got players. We're kind of like the Spurs. We just got players like cycling in and out of the lineup. But this is going to be a tough season. This is going to be like a 2014 Spurs type of championship if we can win it this season. Another MVP for a Bulls player. I don't think we've had an MVP that wasn't a Bulls player. But this season, he almost averaged 40 points. That's crazy. And now we have a random rookie of the year. I don't know why he won rookie of the year because we have actual draft classes. Dante Green going crazy, six man of the year. And Jamal Murray is a most approved player. He's on the Hawks. That's kind of crazy. Coach of the year. Oh, the Warriors are doing good in this sim. That's kind of crazy. But we're back as the first seed once again, going against the Sixers in round one with the Melo, Monte Ellis, Drew Holiday trio here. Like I said, man, I would love to have Drew Holiday on this team, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Derrick Rose somehow got back up to an 85 overall. But yeah, man, like we got some old players here. It's going to be kind of tough. I feel like it's going to be a little bit tougher this season. And no, it's not. We, we just immediately beat them and the Knicks are actually making an appearance in this video with Zach Levine, Mari Stoudemire, Cat, Dion Wade. They, I guess they've been rebuilding this whole time. I don't think they're going to give us any issues. The Pacers have been dominating this whole time for real. Paul George has been saying the same overall. Never really hit his true prime, I feel like, just because he hasn't been doing good. And I think they're going to give us a little bit of issues. And they beat us in five. I'm depressed. I, I'm, I'm eternally depressed now. Let's see. The Warriors sweep them. Kobe Bryant on the Warriors. Kobe Bryant is just a team hopper, apparently, in this sim. That's once again, like I said earlier in the video, that's illegal for Kobe Bryant to leave the Lakers. But I guess they want to break rules today, man. It's kind of sad. But we got a few seasons left. Let's try to get one more ring, at least, for Michael Jordan. I know it's going to be tough because everyone's going to be retiring. Everyone's going to get old. Everyone's going to 
gonna be leaving. All that kind of stuff's gonna be happening, man. It's tough in these streets. And yeah, man, Jimmy Butler is progressing. It's just Jimmy Butler and Michael Jordan this time around. Iggy's still here to do his thing, but he's getting old. He's probably gonna drop down to like an 80 or something like that after the season. Jamichael Green's doing his thing. He's got a bunch of forwards, I guess. And then Derrick Rose, it's over for him, man. It really is over with him. We need to go find a new point guard, hopefully, after the season. We, we're paying him crazy money. We got contracts ending up this season. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be tough this season, man. I already know. Guess who's MVP this season? If you didn't guess Michael Jordan, then you're stupid because I don't know why you wouldn't. Luca is on the Hornets. He wins Rookie of the Year, which he only averaged 15 points per game. That's kind of crazy. D'Lo, six Man of the Year once again. Marcus Smart's on the Thunder. I don't even know if that's an issue or not. We went 65 and 17, so actually we're doing pretty good. We're kind of lasting like the Spurs. We got to go against Luca in the very first round, which they also have Clay Thompson, Lloyd Mark. This team could be on that come up actually, legitimately. But we went in five. That's not bad. And the Pistons once again are always matching up with us. They got John Wall, Lou Wall, dang, Mike Bridges. Who's Mike Bridges? Who is this guy? It's like a fake Macau Bridges or something. They got Trevor Booker, and yeah, I don't know what's up with this team. I don't think that's very great of a team. And they lost to Mar Rosen, but now we're going to the Knicks. The Knicks are finally making another appearance. They signed Mike Conley. Danilo Gallinari, which they never ended up getting in this trade originally, I think. Or no, I don't remember how the trade was, but they got Danilo Gallinari and they got Cat, Terrence Ross. I, I, I think we can get through this. Let's see game one, game two. Game three, okay, we can get through this. We're chilling. We're back in the NBA Finals. As against the Timberwolves, again, the Timberwolves are making themselves a dynasty. Uh, Harrison Barnes, Jason Robinson, Jackie Robinson, Kevin Love, and the, I feel like we can win this. I mean, they got a crazy backup, but like, I feel like this is winnable, bro. We can win a championship. Let's go, come on. Is this another championship? Let's go, three championships for Michael Jordan. Oh, he averaged 40 points just to win a championship. That's how you know it's getting bad. But now we're going into the 2019-2020 season. Can we win another championship with Derrick Rose? And I don't even know if Derrick Rose is on the team anymore. With Michael Jordan. We're going to have to check the roster. I have a feeling Derrick Rose might be trying to dip right here. Wait, no, he's on a contract. What am I talking about? I hope he's on a super low overall. That's what I'm hoping. All right, what's the roster looking like? We got Michael Jordan. We got Jimmy Butler. These two are just chilling over here. Uh, Jamichael Green, he's chilling. Andre Godal is definitely going down in overall. He might have a big down drop this season because he'll be like 36 years old. De'Aaron Fox, I don't know when or how we got him, but he only has one year on his contract. Derrick Rose stayed the same overall, and yeah, we don't really have anybody else going on over here. Uh, it's going to be interesting. This time around, Michael Jordan almost averaged a 40-point triple-double. Zion's in the league now. He's on the Pacers, which that's interesting because we always face the Pacers in the playoffs. And we end up going 62-20. and 20. I don't know how Tom Thibodeau has kept his job. We're going against the Pistons in round one. They still got John Wall, Lou Wall, dang that, everybody. I don't think they're going to prove any competition to us at all whatsoever. Wait a minute. What's going on? What? Okay, game six, I guess, and the Knicks. We're seeing the Knicks again. The Knicks are just making an appearance at the end of this video. Mike Conley, Carl Anthony Towns, and Dwayne How? Okay, that's quite the trio right there. And we win in five, and we're back into the conference finals against here are the here they are the Pistons. So we got Paul George, Deion Sanders. You got okay. This <laughs> this team is going to be kind of annoying, especially because we run a small ball lineup. No, I don't want to simulate with Sincast. No, 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 no. To simulate the game. Game two, we win. Game three, we lose. No, 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 no. And now we have to go to Simcast. And this game, we end up winning. So we're up three to two. We're going to win this game. No, it's going to game seven. Come on, don't let Zion get to the NBA Finals in his rookie season. And there we go. We made it back to the NBA Finals against who? It is the Clippers. Wow, the first time they ever made the Finals. Bradley Beal, Marco Fultz, Otto Porter, Blake Griffin is still in his prime. Okay, so I think this is a winnable game, honestly. This is a winnable series. 2 0. We got 3 0. And we just swept them. That's another ring from Michael Jordan. How many is that? Is that three or four? Michael Jordan has four rings now. And we're getting to the end of this sim, so he has to clutch up if he wants to win two more rings. And Michael Jordan left the Bulls. Where did he go? This man, Michael Jordan, went to the Spurs to join Anthony Davis Kawhi. Wait a minute. Oh, that's all players. Oh my god, I just got like completely like I was about to freak out. He went to the Spurs with Kevin Love, Donovan Mitchell. Oh, this is actually a really solid team. And I think that's a sign because we wanted to keep him a bull for life. Since he left, we're just going to end out the video right there. Will he win more championships? That's a cliffhanger. You already know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I know it's a troll. We're just going to end out the video because he went to the Spurs. Nobody wants to see him in the Spurs, right? We want to see him in the Bulls.